Okay, so let's say for example, we have, we have something like this. So we have the first pulse, which has a height of, let's say it has a height of uh, 10 units. Okay, so that's 10, let's just say 10 units. And that's the distance from the equilibrium position to the top. So it's got a height of 10 units. And then we've got another one over here, which is at a height of, so this one has a height of uh, four, four units. And that's, that's from the bottom to the top, okay? Now let's say that this one is going in this direction and this one is going in this direction. Now I have a couple of questions I wanna ask you. The first one, is this gonna be constructive or destructive interference, okay? And then um, what we're gonna do next is I want you to complete the drawing, complete the drawing when they are busy interfering and then number three complete the drawing after they have interfered okay so you might not understand exactly what i mean right now but let me show you an example well let me show you how we do this one so is this constructive or destructive well we learned that when when both of these pulses are on the same side of the equilibrium line so here's your equilibrium line and we can see that both of them are on the upper side, okay? That is called constructive interference. If one of them was above and one of them was below, then it's called destructive, okay? I'll show you an example like that shortly. Now it says complete the drawing when they are busy interfering. So when they are busy interfering, so let's just say here, busy, or let's, let's, label, let's label this top one as um, before, then the next drawing we're gonna do is during, okay? So during the interference, so during interference. So let's just draw this. Now the superposition principle that we learned about a few moments ago tells us that you can simply add these two numbers together. So you could simply say 10 plus four, and that's gonna be 14. So it's gonna make a much larger pattern like that, okay? So that is what you would do for number two, and then you would fill in that this length is 14, so 14 like that okay and then and then for number three it says what would it look like afterwards well afterwards this one is going to keep going to the right and this one is going to keep going to the left but remember that they have now passed each other so it's going to look something like this so let's say here and then let's call this after so now you're gonna have this green one on the left hand side but its height is going to be exactly the same as what it originally was so that's gonna be um, four cent or four units. So we can still say that this length here is four, but it's still going to the left. See, it's not going to the right, it's going to the left because here's what it was also going to the left. And then this one is gonna be on this side. Okay, and then uh, and I'm gonna draw that now. And then after this, I'm gonna show you a destructive interference example. Okay, so then this one would be at a height of 10. So let's just fill that in, 10. And then this one is going to the right-hand side. Okay, so this would be for, um, this is question two, and then this over here would be for question three. All right, so let's go do another example now. All right, so here's our next example. So, so here we have a wave that is moving to the right, and here we have a wave that is moving to the left. And so this would be an example of destructive, destructive interference. Destructive is when something is not so good. Like uh, these two waves are not gonna help each other. They're actually gonna break each other down. Whereas in the previous example, this one was like, hey buddy, I'm a 10. This one's like, hey buddy, I'm, I've got four. Together we can make 14. So they built each other up. That is constructive. Constructive is when you are um, helping each other. So, that, so together, they work together and they became larger. But in this example, it's gonna be destructive. They're not gonna help each other, they're actually gonna break each other down. So here you've got this one being seven units high, and this one is negative two. The negative just means it's going downwards, okay? Now, during, so, so, so the superposition pr principle tells us that you can simply add these two numbers together. So if you say seven add negative two, you end up with five. And so if we're to go draw that, then the result, would look something like that. So this is what it this is what it would look like while these two are busy going over each other, and then this height would be five. Okay, from the bottom to the top, that would be five. 
And then after, that's really easy. You just do it exactly as it looks over here, but just remember that this one, uh, sorry, this one would now be on the right-hand side, and this one would now be on the left-hand side, but nothing else changes. So this blue one is still gonna be above, and it's gonna go back to its original seven, the units, and the purple one is gonna ca carry on being below, and it's still gonna be at negative two, and this one's still gonna be going to the right, and this one is still gonna be going to the left.